What is up guys and welcome to my mid level bronze man named Brutal Body Progression Series. Bronze man mode is a mode in between Iron Man and Normal mode where I can buy and sell items on Grand Exchange once I have unlocked them through PvP, PvM, creating the item myself like an Iron Man or just picking up the item from the floor. Although I am not allowing myself to unlock items through looting items dropped for someone else. The goal for my Bronzeman series is to progress through every episode. The end goal is to achieve max combat stats while remaining 60 attack and 70 defense, which will be done in different phases. High total level to enter total level requirement words, and most importantly, to unlock bunch of items to make my account as effective as possible for both PvP and PvM. Collection log cleared. This was where my adventure began. It was time to kill some cows for some hides and beef and some goblins who almost killed me it was definitely safer to get some unlocks from the chicken scoop instead of fighting those savage goblins bucket unlocked fight with the rooster started who is the king in the scoop. Rooster looted, now it was time to get to the grand exchange. After selling all the collected items, with the money I made, it was time for a quick business trip to the desert. From less than 1k gold pieces to 14k plus. With the money I made from selling those bronze bars, I got some quick unlocks in. Now it was time to get some magic levels. I decided to train my magic on Varrock Quartz by safe spotting them. Look at the cute doggy waiting to get petted, but I was busy training magic. 13 magic, let's go! I sold some leftover items to do some business in the desert again. That was a good trip and while I was already there I got some extra unlocks in, because why not? After selling those bronze bars again I got my hands on some runes to take down dragons made out of lava in the deepest parts of the wilderness. I had to make my way there without any piece of food first though. I finally made it and I set myself up in the safe spot. The first kill gave us some fire orbs. The second one, Addy bars. The goal here was to get 100k total coins to unlock Revenant Cave Entrance. It was time to move back and sell the loot. Let's see if the money I made was enough to unlock Revenant Cave entrance. It was. Before going to the revs, I decided to steal some clothing. I totally forgot about the cheap vines from Trainer Village shop. So, I got myself juicy, warm chickens instead. Since nobody fights good with an empty stomach anyways. At this point, I was quite happy that I was already in the rev caves. Warmed myself up on those little ghost limbs. Loot here kinda sucked, mostly just eater. So I decided to try goblins instead. I should have grabbed a skull to increase my chance of getting good drops before coming here. But I was hoping that the RNG kicks in and I get the early game lucky drop anyways. Doubted it though. First inventory done. Almost got myself killed there. Got chanced big time. Second inventory almost done. 
I just had to get a nice drop to move on with the plan. Not that I had a certain plan, I made it up as I went. Sometimes those goblins healed themselves really much, since my DPS was just trash. Oh, let's go! Hell yeah! Talking about the early game lucky drop, I guess here it is. It was time to bank and move on. I really needed to upgrade my care setup, so I had a plan for that as well. I spent around a good 20-30 minutes at this location. Nothing but bones. So I decided it was time to bail. I didn't get the gear upgrade from a monk of Samarok, but I was thinking that maybe the new area has some unlocks for me. I made it to the Chaos Altar. There is the first victim. Oh wait, this guy could actually kill me. But he decided to run instead. There he goes. Oh, this place is crowded at the moment. Let's see what he gives us. Nothing special, but it pays for the runes I used to kill him. I decided it was time to change the location. I made my way to the Chin area. New location, new hope. I decided to try high risk world. It was pretty active there. I attacked the Chin Hunter, but I thought that she will escape pretty easily since I had no freezes on me. At this point I thought that she might be a broken bot. I was wondering, what is she doing? She was running around like a chicken from the chicken scoop earlier. It was a little bit suspicious. It seemed like she wanted to get help from the Dragon Medhelm guy. Not that his level 1 attack and strength would have helped her much, but anyways. Luckily, she didn't know where the multiline goes. This situation was hella sketchy for sure. Medhelm guy was sneaking behind. I had to stay alert. She was getting closer and closer to the multi in the north. Once she stepped into the multi, I didn't plan on following. It had to be a lure at this point. And there was the BKR. I am pretty sure it was the Dragon Medhelm guy's low level protector. Damn, these guys were running fast. This guy probably thought he was that well camouflaged that he doesn't even need to run. Give me your items. First proper PK with a nice ring upgrade, plus some chin chompers for the money. There goes another one. And another one. Seems like the DPS I was doing was too low. It's time to level up. The plan was to make some more GP to spend it on training. I have to level up ranged as well to make more DPS. As usually I started at the imps and made my way back to the goblins. Damn, the goblin got me off guard there. A moment to think about. And I felt like it should be a good time to get the heck out of the cave and do something else instead. Bank it all up. Here comes my first layer task, which is 40 skeletons. Time for some gear and food improvements. Better hat unlocked. Made my way to the Brimhaven. Several food options unlocked. And got myself some nice shiny jewelry as well. 
time for Slayer. This place brings back a lot of good memories. Magic level plus Crumble Undead unlocked. At the perfect time, of course, right when I was almost done with those skeletons. First task completed. Now I can have Wilderness Slayer tasks. Let's buy some cheap food and return back to the caves since I haven't made enough gold yet. Took on some imps and made my way back to the goblins. This goblin was healing hella much, just didn't want to go down. Look at that guy, tried to crash me here. I just had to say something to him in hopes that he leaves me alone. Oh, <laughs> surprisingly it worked. While being surprised by the success of the words I said to the crasher, I didn't even realize that the ranger was able to hit me here. And by the time I did realize, it was already too late. He swiftly sent me to Lumbridge, making me lose the hard-earned 100k and all the loot I had on me. That's it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel, stay tuned and see you in the next episode.